Th thank you, uh, Mr. President, uh, for your very strong leadership uh, in uh, working together with the United Nations in the addressing this unprecedented uh, disease, uh, <coughs> uh, Ebola. A significant progress in the Ebola response has taken place, and Ghana has played a very uh, key role, enabling role, uh, in making this uh, possible. And I'd like to also thank you for your Excellency's leadership as, as a chair of ECOWAS. Uh, you convened the ECOWAS summit meeting last month, uh, which served uh, to strengthen the regional resolve and galvanize uh, new uh, supporters. I was encouraged to learn that ECOWAS was uh, deploying several hundred uh, medical professionals, including uh, uh, from Ghana, uh, to the affected countries. And the reason I'm traveling with um, uh, Director General of WHO, Dr. Margaret Chan, and uh, Dr. David Navarro, and Anthony Bamburi is that we show our strong support and solidarity uh, to the people and government of this uh, region. Uh, it has uh, global implications. It's not uh, country concerned or regional concerns. It is a global concern. And we look forward to uh, <coughs> work very closely uh, with uh, leaders in the affected countries, and as Ghana is the place where headquarters is uh, sit situated, we would uh, count on your continuing uh, support. Uh, uh, starting from uh, Accra, uh, coming two days, I'm going to visit all four, uh, particularly uh, three most affected countries, um, uh, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. Uh, then I will uh, visit Mali. Uh, now, we realize that uh, when there is a strategy uh, by mobilizing massive uh, resources uh, financially and logistically and medical support, then it has been working. And we have seen uh, some curbing, uh, this bending the curves. Uh, but unfortunately, this uh, curve has been now taking some steady, uh, steady process. We really want to make this curve uh, a deep uh, downward uh, trend. But I think uh, with all these international communities, a strong uh, support, as well as uh, the countries concerned, the people and government, the united way of uh, addressing this issue, we'll be able to eliminate this uh, uh, Ebola virus uh, as soon as possible. That is uh, our uh, target. I thank you for your continued support, without which much of the response effort would not be possible. I trust I can continue to count on your support over the long term in facilitating the recovery of the region. Uh, we must make sure that uh, uh, the last case of Ebola uh, should be identified and treated and eliminated. And as a Secretary General, uh, I can assure you again that we are fully behind and working together and stand with uh, people. Where we, you know, the UN family come together uh, to support the countries most affected by Ebola. And as you quite rightly put it, you know, uh, of course we, we are in solidarity with those countries and their people. We will provide technical support to them and the logistic uh, you know, muscles to, to make sure that things are done. But we are also equally, if not more mindful, of countries that have not yet been affected, uh, like in the case of Ghana, that we would support you uh, to make sure you are prepared uh, in the event, well, uh, unfortunate event as we see in uh, Mali, with movement of people, uh, importation of cases is something we should not uh, uh, be taken by surprise. Thank you very much. And let me warmly welcome you, uh, Mr. Secretary General, to Ghana. It's one of many visits you've paid to us, and uh, we're particularly happy and encouraged about this uh, visit and your uh, on, onward visit to the countries most affected by Ebola. I believe that your presence there would really, really raise their spirits and would be an encouragement on them 
to continue the fight against uh, this disease that has claimed so many lives in our sub-region. It's affected our people not only in terms of the deaths and casualties that have occurred, but also in terms of the humanitarian disaster that it has created in terms of displacing people, in terms of creating a new wave of orphans. And um, for many months after the outbreak, um, the affected countries had felt very isolated. But I must say that happily following the summit we held in Accra, um, a lot of the isolation that the countries were subjected to has, has, has changed. And um, air flights have resumed. Air Boa is flying you know, regular flights into the three countries now. And many airlines have resumed. Um, despite the late start of the international response, once um, the UN took the leadership and um, went to the General Assembly and mounted the response, you know, I'd like to um, comment on me for the very fast deployment that um, it undertook uh, since um, the green light was given for this particular UN mission to be held. I'm sure that um, if you go into the record of deployments, UNMIA would have been one of the fastest deployments of a UN mission ever taken. And I'd like to commend Anthony Bambri and his team for the very, very good work they've done in rolling out the uh, UNMIA response in both um, the staging country, which is Ghana, and then the other forward bases in all the three affected countries uh, through UNMIA. Um, I think the international response has paid off, and we are beginning to hear some encouraging results for the first time, you know, coming out of the affected countries. And I believe that your coming personally to visit those countries is going to be a very strong uh, sign of encouragement to them response, and also from the countries themselves in respect of um, what, what the situation there was. We've also just come from another ECOWAS summit in Abuja, and Ebola was one of the items on the agenda. And we received an update on what has been uh, going on there. And uh, we believe that this is a time for us to push even harder to achieve the new set targets of 100-100, that is 100% of victims uh, in treatment centers and 100% of persons who have died from Ebola buried safely. And um, all of us in this sub-region will help. It has affected um, economic prosperity in this sub-region. Most of these countries were recovering from conflict and were beginning to invest in access to social services for their people, including public health, when uh, Ebola uh, struck. One of the tragedies is not only those who died from Ebola, but those who died from other diseases because there's not even space in medical centers to treat other equally uh, serious ailments. I believe that the UN mission's work would go on even after we have finished the last case of Ebola. You know, the UN mission uh, will still have a role to play in terms of bringing the public health systems of these countries back in a shape that allows it to respond better in future when epidemics like this uh, occur. I also like to, on behalf of the government of Ghana, thank Onmir for the collaboration we've had in terms of our own response, national response to Ebola. We are lucky we've not had a single incident of Ebola yet in touch food. I hope we don't have uh, any incident, but the UN mission has been very helpful and collaborated with our uh, Ministry of Health and the National Response Team to, in, to make us ready in the event that you know there's any case of, of Ebola. We're also holding our breaths on Mali and hoping that the 42-day uh, mark will pass without any other case so that uh, Mali can be declared officially Ebola-free. But let me thank you and uh, to welcome you warmly to uh, Ghana. We're very happy to have you with us. Thank you.